I think new government has played a very hands-on role uh, in terms of, of seeing themselves uh, as important flag bearers for the country on the international stage. So you've had a more serious level of engagement, uh, certainly at a, at a European level, uh, and that's going to come in obviously in next year's uh, EU presidency of Ar by Ireland for in the first six months of next year. Uh, but also, I think they've they've seen the, the enormous importance from a business perspective uh, of of travelling the globe. They're not they're not afraid of the, of the headlines about or the, the publicity about oh you're travelling around in junkets and so on and so forth. That's not the the point. They're very focused on the fact that we need ministers uh, face to face speaking with. Um, business leaders, uh, political leaders, uh, right, right across the globe. The last time I was, I was in this hotel was listening to a, a CEO of a major US security firm basically saying the reason he started looking at Ireland was because he attended a function uh, at which the Taoiseach was speaking, talking about Ireland becoming the best small country in the world in which to do business. Uh, he liked what he, what he heard and he ended up uh, looking at Ireland and the company six months later was basically saying we're now moving our, our European headquarters to Ireland. So you're, you're seeing that value when you're getting testimonies like that, uh, that of, of the government personal and individual role. Apart from a policy perspective, there are, that's obviously very important, but just to, to that one-to-one -one, uh, interaction. Obviously, enormous damage um, done uh, over over recent uh, years. I mean, um, you know, uh, the media commentary on the international stage was certainly extremely negative um, as, as a result of the, the, the banking collapse, the economic collapse, the, the requirement of uh, an international bailout, um, Ireland's uh, loss of sovereignty. So I, I don't think there was any way of glossing over that. So what you have to do is, is move on and, and show what Ireland is doing to, to recover. Uh, so you are seeing a, a, a very different per perception, uh, particularly at, a, at a, a European level. Probably in, in America, perhaps, you know, that they're, they're more sentimental about Ireland. Um, it's also more, more direct in, in terms of the businesses that, that uh, we're, we're in, interacting with, but on, on a political level they'd obviously be fairly sympathetic. On, on, a, on, a, on a European level, because the, the crisis has extended beyond Ireland, we, we are just one of four to five countries in, in similar difficulties, it has been important uh, that we rebuild our brand, that we be seen to be taking action as well and, and, and taking this issue seriously of, of restoring uh, our international reputation. Uh, again, um, on a European level, you just had more and more serious engagement. You, you have seen the, the fulfilment of the, the commitments uh, outlined under, under the bailout. Uh, and yeah, fine, you know, you, you can be snide and say Angela Merkel patting the Taoiseach on, on, on the head, that, that, that means we're the best boy in Europe. But it means that international leaders uh, are, are taking Ireland seriously and that, and that's that there is uh, a benefit uh, from our perspective in terms of uh, decisions that we've made on a, on a political level as a result of that.